Simplified Impression Taking by Drs. Mark Gottlieb and Drs. Pat Retzer, where you'll learn something every 60 seconds. And by making this video, we're not intimidated. We've got experience in private practice, teaching, research, and manufacturing of dental products. We're always looking for new ideas, so if you have an idea, make the effort to contact us. What's normally covered are the basic science, impression materials, techniques for removable and fixed, troubleshooting, and salvaging of dental impressions. What we'll be covering in this video, some of the basic science, some impression materials, the digital future, and how to sterilize and troubleshoot impressions. Gordon Christensen found that many of our techniques need to be improved. The facts are that there are 50 million impressions taken every year, and 9 out of 10 are inadequate. Where did we go wrong? Was it in dental school? Possibly during our residency programs? Or is it just that in private practice, due to insurance, capitation, or just a work ethic, that our impressions are inadequate? I follow my PAP principle, where position, access, patience, persistence allow me to get adequate impressions or perfect impressions. This impression that you're looking at isn't even close. It needs to be thrown out. It was underfilled. I'd like you to learn something new every day. We're going to review impression materials and introduce you to the fifth hand, the occlusal sweep and dimmit membrane. There are five characteristics of every impression material that you'd like to understand and learn. Color happens to be an important one. Today, 90% of the materials are polyvinyl siloxanes and 10% are ethers. Whether they are hydrophobic or hydrophilic are important considerations, or is it merely displacement that really allows you to get an adequate impression? Digital impressions are the future. You're saving material costs, and you can correct the missing data areas that you're missing. There are disadvantages to digital impressions. This is the chemistry of polyvinyl siloxane. Over the summer, the ADA reviewed all the impression materials. What they found is that the tear strength wasn't related to the, whether it was heavy body or light body. The compressive strength was also important in selecting a tray design, but more importantly, the set time outside the mouth was not even closely related to the set time inside the mouth. Simplified impression taking. You really need to select the proper size tray to have the room that you need for the adequate material to get an accurate impression. I happen to prefer clear disposable impression trays. You can border mold them, you can change the shape of them to avoid lingual tori, buckley placed teeth, or just adapt it to a short vestibule. Dammit membrane closes off the back of the tray, so it confines the material to the tray itself, forcing it up into the fold and around those second and third mole areas. Remember to block out your undercuts. Danville Materials Fifth Hand is used to hold the lips, cheeks, and mustaches out of the way. It's like great for applying fluoride varnishes, digital photography, and it's a great lip and cheek retractor. As you can see, it's holding lip, cheek, and mustache out of the way. I syringe the light body material around the tooth. The occlusal sweep is used to capture a single tooth or a bunch of teeth in one sweep. You seat the tray right on top of the retractor, pull the retractor out, and allow the material to set. Using the dammit membrane, the fifth hand allows you to get a perfect impression. Look at all the detail in that hamula notch area. Always make sure the impression sets in the patient's mouth. Never let the patient help the tray out of the mouth or you'll miss the impression. Here's a case where you really need to get an accurate impression. Fifth hand retractor is in place. I'll syringe the light body material around the labial surface and then seat my impression tray right on top. And as you can see, another perfect impression. I use the fifth hand retractor when I'm taking partial impressions. I'll use a lip retractor to hold the lips and cheeks out of the way, syringe my light body around the abutments, and then seat my tray. Remember, you only get one chance to make a good impression, so let's practice together. Music